Mrs. Mamoni. Thank you so much for being Amar Baba Ma. Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss and explain the technique of solving the problem on errors of complete omission, step by step in the easiest way. So let's get started. Chalo, shuru kora ja. Now what is errors of complete omission? Where a business transaction is completely overlooked by mistake and not recorded in journal or not at all posted in the respective ledger accounts. It is simply left out of the accounting records. Complete omission error occurs where there is no record of debits as well as credits. It is a double sided error. Okay? Debito kono entry nahi, credito kono entry nahi. That means debit side of kono entry record hai nahi, credit side of kono entry record hai nahi. It is a double sided error. Therefore, in case of complete omission, the total of trial balance will agree as both sides that is both debit and credit are not recorded but the trial balance will be incorrect and incomplete okay so now let's go through the problem two sided errors rectification of errors before preparation of trial balance problem one rectify the following errors now what is two sided errors Two sided errors are also known as double sided errors. Two sided errors are those errors which do not affect the agreement of the trial balance. Okay? These errors can occur in two or more accounts. Understood? Now, this is the first stage that is, rectification of errors before preparation of trial balance. In this stage, we cannot take the help of suspense account. Please remember this thing. In the second stage, we can take the help of suspense account. Now, what is the second stage? The second stage is rectification of errors after preparation of trial balance with the help of suspense account, but before preparation of final accounts. Okay? But this is the first stage. So, suspense account will not appear. Okay? Now, let's start doing the problem. Now, let's see the first transaction. Number 1. Credit sales to Raj, rupees 5000 were not recorded. This transaction has two parts. The first part is correct entry and the second part is wrong entry. Credit sales to Raj, rupees 5000. Till here, this is the correct part. And which is the wrong part? Were not recorded. So, this is the wrong part. And please remember, first of all, we have to do the workings and then we'll do it in fair. Okay, this is the technique. So let's do it. So in the workings, you have to draw three columns. First one is correct entry. Second one is wrong entry. And the third one is rectifying entry or rectification entry. Okay, so this is the workings. First of all, we have to do it in the workings. Now, let's write the correct entry. Let's go through the problem again. So, the first transaction is credit sales to Raj rupees 5000. So, this is the correct part. Don't go further. We'll stop here. So, credit sales to Raj rupees 5000. What will be the journal entry? The journal entry will be Raj account debit to sales account. Okay? 5000. So, let's write. Raj account debit Five thousand to sales account. Five thousand. So, what is the wrong entry? Let's see. See, number one, credit sales to Raj rupees five thousand. We have recorded in the correct entry. This is the wrong part. Wo not recorded. Wo not recorded means nothing has been recorded on the debit side. And nothing has been recorded on the credit side as well. So, debit side dash, credit side dash. 
in the wrong entry nothing has been recorded on the debit side and nothing has been recorded on the credit side by mistake so debit side dash credit side dash since nothing has been recorded on the debit side of the wrong entry and nothing has been recorded on the credit side of the wrong entry so how to rectify the technique is always compare the correct entry and the wrong entry and then you will get the rectifying entry okay now let's compare on the debit side we'll see the debit side of correct entry raj account debit 5000 on the debit side of wrong entry nothing has been recorded so we'll just copy the correct entry okay in the rectifying entry raj account debit 5000 प्लीज रिमेम्बर अलवेज करते कम्पेयर करते करेक्ट एंट्री साथ रंग एंट्री के करेक्ट एंट्री डेबिट सैडे देखी राज एन डेबिट फाइव थाउजेंड वेर एज इन द रंग एंट्री देखते नाथिंग हेज बीन रेकर्डेड डैश तो रेक्टिफाई करब कम्पेयर करो राज एन डेबिट फाइव थाउजेंड इन द करेक्ट एंट्री बट डेबिट सैड इन द रंग एंट्री नाथिंग हेज बीन रेकर्डेड सो उल स्ट्रेट अवे रईट जेट करेक्ट एंट्री कारण रेक्टिफाई करते Just copy the correct entry in the rectifying entry. Okay, rectifying entry done on the debit side. First, you have to compare the correct entry with the wrong entry. So, see on the credit side of the correct entry, two cells are on five thousand. This is the correct entry. But in the wrong entry on the credit side, nothing has been recorded. So, what we have to do? Just copy the correct entry on the credit side. So, we'll write two. Sales account rupees five thousand. In the fair work, we just have to copy the rectifying entry or rectification entry. Okay, that will do afterwards. Understood? Now let's go through the second transaction. Okay, the second transaction is credit purchase from Simran rupees eight thousand were not recorded. This is the correct part. Credit purchase from Simran rupees eight thousand. This is the correct part, and the wrong part is who not recorded. Please remember, who not recorded means nothing has been recorded on the debit side as well as on the credit side. They haven't mentioned. You got to assume who not recorded means nothing has been recorded on the debit side. Nothing has been recorded on the credit side as well. Okay, जो भी debit side की जो record हो तो मेन्शन कर दी तो जो क्रेडिट सैड कि रेकर्ड हतो वा मेन्शन करत कि टू एज्यूम दैट ऑन द बोथ साइड नथिंग हेज बीन रेकर्डेड अंडारस्टूड सो हुई इज द करेक्ट पार्ट क्रेडिट परचेज फ्रॉम सिमरन रुपीज एट थाउजेंड स्टॉप हियर दिस इज द करेक्ट पार्ट ओके सो परचेज अकाउंट डेबिट टू सिमरन अकाउंट ओके एट थाउजेंड लेट्स राइट सो लेट्स राइट द करेक्ट एंट्री Purchases account debit. Purchases account debit. Eight thousand to Simran account credit. Eight thousand. Understood. This is the correct entry. Purchases account debit eight thousand to Simran account eight thousand. Now what is the wrong entry? Let me see again. See, number two, credit purchases from Simran, eight thousand were not recorded. That means were not recorded is the wrong entry. Nothing has been recorded on the debit side and nothing has been recorded on the credit side. So we got to write dash on the debit side in the wrong entry and dash on the credit side in the wrong entry. Okay, so let's write. Okay. Now, what is the rectifying entry? I have already told you. Please compare the correct entry and the wrong entry. This is the technique to rectify. On the debit side of correct entry is purchases account debit eight thousand. On the debit side of wrong entry, nothing has been recorded. Since nothing has been recorded on the debit side of wrong entry, we'll have to write the correct entry on the debit side. That is purchases account debit. Eight thousand. Okay, so we'll straight away write the correct entry: purchases account debit, purchases account debit eight thousand. Okay, 
Now, what is the correct entry on the credit side? The correct entry on the credit side is two Simran account eight thousand. Okay. The technique is to compare the correct entry and the wrong entry. In the correct entry on the credit side is two Simran account eight thousand. Nothing has been recorded in the wrong entry, but we have to rectify it. So, if you write the correct entry on the credit side, it will be rectified automatically. So, let's write two Simran account. Eight thousand. Okay, understood. understood. So now let's see the third transaction. So the third transaction is number three. Goch returned to Sandeep rupees twelve thousand. Were not recorded. What is the correct part? The correct part is Goch returned to Sandeep rupees twelve thousand. Till here, A put on the correct entry. Were not recorded is the wrong entry. Understood? Correct entry plus wrong entry is the combination of the Transaction, okay. So the correct entry is goods returned to Sandeep rupees twelve thousand, and the wrong entry is were not recorded. First of all, we'll have to see the correct entry. Goods returned to Sandeep rupees twelve thousand. So what will be the journal entry? The Sandeep account debit twelve thousand to purchases returns account or returns outward account twelve thousand. Okay. So let's write. We'll write Sandeep account debit. Sandeep account debit twelve thousand to purchases returns account twelve thousand. Okay, purchases returns account is also known as. Returns outward account. Okay, now let's see the wrong entry. See number three. Goods returned to Sandeep rupees twelve thousand. The correct entry we have already done. The wrong entries were not recorded. That means nothing has been recorded on the debit side. Nothing has been recorded on the credit side. I have already told you. Jodi debit side ke kichu record korto, they would have mentioned it. Jodi credit side ke kichu record korto, they would have mentioned it. Since nothing has been recorded on the debit side as well as on the credit side. She you know really catch it. Who not recorded? So on the debit side dash on the credit side dash. So let's write debit side dash credit side dash. Now we have to rectify the wrong entry. Okay. So what is the technique? Compare the correct entry with the wrong entry. Okay. So what is the correct entry? Sandeep account debit twelve thousand is the correct entry on the debit side. The wrong entry on the debit side is. Dash. So we have to rectify the wrong entry. Since nothing has been recorded in the wrong entry on the debit side, we have to write the correct entry. So let's copy the correct entry. Sandeep account debit rupees twelve thousand. Now let's compare the credit entry also. See. The correct entry on the credit side is to purchases returns account twelve thousand, and let's see the wrong entry. On the credit side of the wrong entry is dash. So we have to rectify the wrong entry. So how to rectify? So just write the correct entry on the credit side. To purchases returns account rupees. Twelve thousand. Okay. Now let's see the last transaction. The last transaction is number four. Goods returned from Deepika rupees ten thousand were not recorded. Now what is the correct part? Goods returned from Deepika rupees ten thousand. This is the correct part. And which is the wrong part? Were not recorded. Understood? Always read the correct part first. Then go through the wrong part. Okay. Always read the Correct part first, then go through the wrong part. So goods return from the bika rupees ten thousand. What will be the journal entry? The journal entry will be sales return account debit or returns inward account debit rupees ten thousand to the bika account rupees ten thousand because sales return is also known as returns inward. Okay, understood. So let's write sales returns account debit twelve 
to Deepika account rupees ten thousand in the correct entry. Okay. The last one. Let's write the correct entry. Sales returns account or returns inward account. Okay, both are correct. Sales returns account debit. How much? Ten thousand is the correct entry on the debit side and the credit side to Deepika account. Okay, to Deepika account. 10000 on the credit side and what is the wrong entry let's see it again say goods returned from dipika rupees 10000 is the correct part just start reading from here wo not recorded wo not recorded means nothing has been recorded on the debit side and nothing has been recorded on the credit side since they have not mentioned you got to assume that nothing has been recorded on the debit side and nothing has been recorded on the credit side Chodi debit side ki chu record korto or a mention korto or vice versa. You the credit side or a kichu record korto or a mention korto. Since nothing has been recorded on the debit side as well as on the credit side, the problem says wo not recorded. Understood? So let's write the wrong entry. So the wrong entry will be on the debit side, nothing has been recorded, dash. On the credit side, nothing has been recorded, dash. Okay? So now we have to rectify the wrong entry. So how to rectify the wrong entry? I told you the technique. You have to use the technique. Compare the correct entry with the wrong entry. Always compare the correct entry with the wrong entry. The correct entry on the debit side is sales returns account debit rupees 10,000. Whereas in the wrong entry, nothing has been recorded on the debit side. So we have to record the correct entry. So straight away copy. Sales returns account debit. Since nothing has been recorded on the wrong entry, we have to write the correct entry. So just copy the correct entry on the debit side. Sales returns account debit 10,000. Now let's compare the correct entry on the credit side to Deepika account 10,000. And see the wrong entry. Nothing has been recorded on the credit side. So we have to compare. The correct entry on the credit side is to Deepika account 10,000. And nothing has been recorded on the credit side. Our job is to rectify the wrong entry. Since nothing has been recorded on the wrong entry, we have to write the correct entry. What is the correct entry? To Deepika account 10,000. Just copy. To Deepika account. 10,000. Please remember, if nothing has been recorded on the debit side as well as on the credit side, just copy the correct entry and you'll get the rectifying entry. Understood? Please remember, if nothing has been recorded in the wrong entry on the debit side as well as on the credit side, how to rectify the wrong entry? Just copy the correct entry on the debit side and the correct entry on the credit side and the wrong entry will be rectified. Understood? But remember, this is just the workings. Now we have to do the fair work. What is the fair work? You have to prepare a journal and you have to copy all the rectifying entries. Understood? Let me show you. This is the workings. Please remember, this is the workings. And now we have to do the fair work. Okay, let me show you. Now see, what is the rectifying entry? When we are doing the fair work, we only have to look at the rectifying entries. Okay? Not the correct entry, not the wrong entry. Only the rectifying entries. Okay. So the first rectifying entry is Raj account debit 5000 to sales account 5000. Just copy the rectifying entry. So we'll write Raj account debit. This is the fair work. Raj account debit to sales account. How much? 5000. Okay, so this is the journal. You have to write on the top rectification entries, date, particulars, ledger folio, debit, credit. Raj account debit to sales account 5000. Okay, now let's see the second rectifying entry. So the second rectifying entry, please don't look at the correct entry or the wrong entry. Just 
look at the rectifying entry. We just have to copy the rectifying entry. Okay. So the rectifying entry is purchases account debit 8000 to Simran account 8000. Okay. So let's copy. Purchases account debit. to Simran account how much 8000 okay now please remember we have to write the narration as well just like we did in the chapter journal but here we have to add two important words what is that being credit sales to Raj were not recorded comma now rectified you always have to add now rectified. Always write at the end now rectified. Similarly, being credit purchases from Simran were not recorded, comma, now rectified. Okay, you got to add these two important words. Now let's see the third rectifying entry. What are we doing? We are just copying the rectifying entry from the workings. Okay, so what is the third rectifying entry? Sandeep account debit. 12,000 to purchases returns account 12,000. Okay, so let's write Sandeep account debit 12,000 to purchases returns account 12,000. Purchases returns account is also known as returns outward account. Okay. Purchases returns account 12,000. Okay. So what will be the narration? Being goods returned to Sandim were not recorded, comma, now rectified. Okay. So you got to add these two important words. Now rectified. Now let's see the last rectifying entry. This is the last rectifying entry. Sales returns account debit 10,000 to Deepika account 10,000. Okay. So let's write. Sales returns account debit sales returns account debit 10,000 please remember sales returns account is also known as returns inwards account okay to Deepika account Ten thousand. Okay. Now, what is the narration? Being goods returned from Deepika were not recorded. Now rectified. Understood? So we have done the fair work also. Okay. You have to do the workings as well as the fair work. Okay. Now you might ask me why Raj account is debit and why sales account is credit. I have already taught you in the chapter journal. But still, today I am going to tell you why Raj account is debit in the first transaction. First, why Raj account is debit? See the first transaction. Goods sold to Raj on credit were not recorded. Why Raj account is debit? Because Raj comes under personal account. And according to personal account, the receiver of the benefit is debit. Here Raj is the receiver of the benefit. That is, he is the receiver of goods. So Raj account will be debited. Why sales account is credit? Sales account is credit because sales account comes under nominal account. According to nominal account, all incomes and gains credit. Understood? Here, when goods are sold, cash is in. So it is an income for the business. So sales account will be credited. Understood? Number two, what is the transaction? Credit purchases from Simran were not recorded. So why purchases account debit? Purchases account is debit because purchases account comes under nominal account. And according to nominal account, all losses and expenses debit. Here when goods are purchased from Simran, cash goes out from the business. So this is an expense for the business. So purchases account will be debit it okay now why simran account is credit simran account is credit because simran account comes under personal account according to personal account the giver of the benefit is credit here simran is the giver of the benefit 
or simran is the giver of goods so simran account will be credited understood let's see the third transaction goods returned to sandeep were not recorded so why sandeep account is debit sandeep account is debit because sandeep account comes under personal account according to personal account the receiver of the benefit is always debit here sandeep is the receiver of the benefit because he is the receiver of goods so sandeep account will be debited but why purchases returns account is credit purchases returns account is credit because purchases returns account comes under nominal account and according to nominal account all incomes and gains are credit here when goods purchased are returned to sandeep expenses are reduced resulting in income so purchases returns account should be credited understood so let's go to the last transaction the last transaction is goods returned from deepika were not recorded so why sales returns account is debit sales returns account is debit because sales returns account comes under nominal account and according to nominal account all losses and expenses debit here when goods sold are returned by deepika sales are reduced resulting in losses okay so sales returns account will be debited now why deepika account is credit deepika account comes under personal account according to personal account the giver of the benefit is credit here deepika is the giver of the goods so deepika account will be credited understood i hope you understood thank you so much for watching thank you so much for your precious time i sincerely hope this was helpful i'll catch you all again in the next video till then keep rising and keep shining bye bye take care stay safe and stay blessed always